if you're beginning to learn physics or you're going to start a vector in mathematics, uh, then often you will come with a word, with a theorem, uh, Lamy's theorem. How do you pronounce? Lamy's theorem or Lamy's theorem? I don't know. <laughs> Anyhow, you pronounce. Well, the concept is the same. So the theorem uh, uh, is, is uh, something like this. Uh, if three forces are acting in a point, right? Three forces acting in a point. That time, like, uh, forces are acting towards the point or away from the point, all right? Keep that in mind. Let's say uh, force P, all right? Let's say first force is P and let's say second force is Q, all right? And the third force is, let's say, R, all right? So here are three forces, P, Q, and R uh, going away from this point, all right? Let's say the point name is O. Let's say angle opposite to the R is alpha, angle opposite to the P is beta and angle opposite to the q is let's say um gamma all right now the lamus theorem says that if these three forces acting in a point are in equilibrium all right keep in mind this word if these all uh, forces acting on a point o are in equilibrium condition of equilibrium i will talk later all right uh, are in equilibrium then that time each forces you know each forces either P or Q or R are proportional to the sine of the angle of the opposite two forces. All right. So if I'm talking about the force P, then this is is proportional to the sine of the angle between this force R and this Q. All right. So this is proportional with sine of beta. Similarly, if I'm talking about uh, the force Q then force Q is, you know, this force Q is proportional to the sine of the angle between this force P and R, all right? So sine gamma, all right? And similarly, if I'm talking about the force R, then this is also proportional with the sine of the angle between this force P and the force Q, that is sine alpha, sine alpha, all right? This is the statement of the Lamy's theorem. Alright, so simply if three forces acting at a point are in equilibrium, then that time each forces are proportional to the sine of the angle of the opposite two forces. And one very, very important thing you need to keep in mind always while learning Lamy's theorem uh, that forces P, Q, and R. These forces are coplanar, non collinear, and concurrent. Now let me tell you the meaning of these things. Here coplanar means all this force, you know, this force P, this force Q, this force R, are on the same screen, like, like these all force I have drawn in the same black screen. So all the forces should act on a single plane, right? Non-collinear, it means they're not acting on the same, like P is acting here and again Q is acting here and again R is acting here, so it should not be like that. Together in a line, this should not be together in a linear line, all right? Collinear means not together in a line. This should not be in a single line. And concurrent, concurrent means they should cut each other at a point, all right? They should meet each other at a point. Like, like, uh, like P is going here, Q is going here, and R is going here. So if you further expand, then this is your, your Q. This is, uh, this is your Q. This is your, uh, P and this is your R. So, Altogether, these all 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 uh, forces are acting at a uh, acting at a point. I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, these all are uh, meeting at a point. So, uh, concurrent means they meet at certain point. Uh, Non-collinear means uh, they are not uh, together in a single line. Coplanar means they all are in a single plane. All right. So, this is a month, very 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 important uh, condition for uh, for for learning about uh, Lamy's theorem or, or for applying the Lamy's theorem. All right. Uh, these these forces. Should be coplanar, non-collinear, and concurrent, and these forces should be in equilibrium. And same time, let me tell you the equilibrium. Uh, the condition of equilibrium means uh, the object should be uh, no linear, right? There should be no linear motion, no rotational motion, uh, no rotational motion, and there should be no potential energy. Keep in mind, right? This this is the conditions uh, for the equilibrium. Like when you put the when you put these three forces, these forces P, forces Q and forces R act on an object or a point, then that time the object should not have any, any linear motion or any rotational motion or any 
potential stored potential energy there should not be everything should be zero all right that time we're going to talk forces are in equilibrium and the forces are coplanar nonlinear and concurrent that time each forces is proportional to the sine of the angle of the opposite two other forces all right that's the lamis theorem and now let's learn the proof of the lamis theorem in the next video and we use this uh, Lamy's theorem a lot in physics uh, related to springs, balance, you know, in, in these things we, we get problems. Uh, so uh, let's learn the proof of the Lamy's theorem in the next video. Bye-bye.